All right, citizens of Buffalo, we're back, and it's time for us to continue our GM mode with the Buffalo Sabres up here in free agency after a pretty harsh year one. I mean, we were the worst team in the NHL during the regular season, hoping that we could draft uh, Austin Matthews or uh, Chichurin at one or number two. As the worst team in the NHL, the hockey gods spat on us, moving us back to number four in the draft. So we missed out on Matthews, Tchurin, um, Brizgalov, who was a franchise goaltender, got drafted number three. And that's what I was saying we needed the entire year, so that was a hard draft pick to swallow. But at number four, we did... We were able to draft a high elite defenseman in Sean Day, and that's exactly what we need for the future also. Uh, a young defenseman, basically the same age as Jack Eichel, that can just be the rock back there while Jack Eichel is the rock up front. So the American tandem of Eichel and Day looking like Buffalo's future. But year number two, I don't want to just have a bad year. I want to see if we can have a competitive year. Sam Reinhardt's coming up. We could use some more defensemen, right? And this is what free agency can do for us. We're, he we're up here at free agency. There's a lot of guys available. So, you know, definitely some assets that we can use here to acquire to make our team even better. I mean, look, all the way down here, there's still 80s in here. Plenty of guys who are in the 80s. So we can... Uh, we can definitely go through this and take a look at what we need. Before we do that, though, we got to look at our roster and see where we are weak. But before we do that, we have some comments. I was asking you guys in the last video, what do you think about free agency? What should we go after? This first one from N MN Wild 91 Getting a guy like Hoodler or Kreider would be great since that would be another weapon for Eichel or Reinhardt. I'd say getting another defenseman would help out a lot. A Jared Spurgeon would fit well, especially if you pair him with Cody Franson. So this guy's saying to go after Yuri Hoodler, Chris Kreider. You know what? Let me bring up the free agency screen again. Yuri Hoodler, Chris Kreider, and Jared Spurgeon. So... I don't know if we're going to be able to go after uh, Kreider. I know he's high elite right there, but I think he's a restricted free agent. Let's see. Yeah, he's a restricted free agent, and at 7.3 mil, I'm pretty sure you'd have to give up. Let me just go to offer contract, because it'll tell me about the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to proceed with Chris Kreider, you have to... You'd have to sign him, and then you'd have to give up your first, second, and third round picks from this year. And uh, I don't want to do that, right? So I'm going to say no to Chris Kreider. Restricted free agency, I just don't think is going to work for us. But unrestricted free agency, yeah, Yuri Hoodler, Captain Keith Yandel, Alex Goligoski's in there, Chris Russell, Demers, Jared Spurgeon. I like that one, considering his age. And I believe offensive defenseman, yes, he is. Now, we already have three righties, but... Another righty wouldn't be a bad idea, and then I can maybe work a trade in next year at some point. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I didn't mean to back up. All right, so this guy wanted uh, Spurgeon. There you go. Next comment. Johnny, everyone is saying to go get Kreider. You shouldn't do that. Kreider is a restricted free agent, restricted free agent asking for $8 million, and you'll have to give up two firsts, two seconds, and a third just to get him. Well, it wasn't that much, but uh, yeah, I still agree with you here. You should go after Chris Russell, a left-handed defenseman who can... Who can penalty kill. Go for Alex Kaloran as well. He can play the wing or the center. Also, when Reinhardt and Eichel get really good, he can be a bona fide third line center. So this guy is saying not to go for Kreider. I should go after uh, Chris Russell and Alex Kaloran. That could definitely work out. Let's see here. Chris Russell. There's Chris Russell, 85. He's a left-handed defenseman. That's what we need for Zach Bogosian and Cody Franzen. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And then Kaloran, left wing. 26 years of age, yeah, that's perfect. Bring in some younger players that can help us out, and if they don't, teams would definitely want to jump on them if I wanted to trade them away, right? So Kalorn and, uh, and uh, what's his name? And, uh, oh, for God's sake, yeah, Russell. I was going to say Russell Martin there for a second. I knew that was wrong. All right, so I'll take a look at that. we got to look at our team first. Next comment, you should try to get the franchise goaltender instead of Fukali. Yes, you would have to pay a lot for the franchise goalie, but he's worth the price. I think this guy's talking about Brizgalov, the goaltender that the Edmonton Oilers just drafted. Uh, I, I'm not going to trade for him, man. The Edmonton Oilers just scored a franchise goaltender after years of getting first overall picks. That That's going to like just wrap up their growth, right? So, no, nah, they wouldn't want to trade him away. Next comment from Roman Pollock. Sign Roman Pollock. <laughs> we'll see about that. I don't know if I want to have to deal with any... Uh, What's it called? Delay a game penalties. That wouldn't be too well. And he's right-handed. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with Roman Polak. And last but not least, I'd go after Spurgeon to help your defensive core for this year. He's fairly young, and he will help you be not horrible, not as horrible next year. You won't make 
but won't make you too good as you should go for another high pick. All right, so a younger player just to bring in for some depth, I suppose. Also, Kreider would be a good fit, but he's a restricted free agent. So I'd say don't go for him unless you can snag him up cheap. All right, so seems like everybody's on the same page. Um, the people who understand this game and understand restricted free agency, uh, they're all pretty much saying don't go for Chris Kreider, keep your draft picks. I would agree with that, but it seems like Jared Spurgeon and Chris Russell were uh, being pointed out a lot as defensive players that we could go out and snag up for our weak defensive core. Uh, we do have young prospects on the, uh, come on, press a few contracts. I pressed it like 10 times. List all contracts. So let's just go through this and see what we have in every position and what we're going to need. Goaltenders, all right? Robin Lehner and Makarov now in the system. Yeah. All right, so Makarov, he could be a backup goaltender. Do I have six goalies already signed? I got five goalies signed. So if I want, I could sign a backup goalie and let Makarov play in the AHL. So a backup goalie might be something we want to go after. Defenseman, let's see here. All right, let me just sort by overall. Yeah, go to the bottom first and the top. Bogosian, Franzen, Ristolainen. I mean, Ristolainen's already a righty as well, correct? Uh, yeah, he's a right-handed defenseman. So we already have three right-handed defensemen. I'm telling you, Jake McCabe is a lefty, and he's got the high potential. So we're going to give him a chance, top six, top four. Same thing with Pissick, even though he's got... Uh, I wouldn't mind. Chris Russell would fit in perfectly in here, boys. Jared Spurgeon, I could get him, even though he's the same kind of player as a Cody Franzen, right-handed offensive defenseman. Uh, Chris Russell, though, left-handed two-way guy. You could put him alongside of Agosian, Franzen, or Ristolainen, and McCabe could play in there as well. Yeah, all right, so I need maybe two left-handed defensemen. Definitely one. I think Chris Russell is somebody we should go for, for sure. All right. Centers down the middle. Gergensons, O'Reilly, Larson. All right. Left wingers. Kane, McGinn, Felino. Okay. Pretty much already have the forwards taken care of. Yep, and then we haven't even taken a look at in the system as well. Uh, Baptiste, all right, left wingers. Adam Ernie, may have to play him this year. But then we also have some centers. Jack Eichel, elite. Sam Reinhardt, elite. Got to play these guys. So maybe some depth forwards. I don't think a Yuri Hoodler is necessary. We already have, like, Gergensen's Eichel and uh, Reinhardt. One of them is going to be playing the wing in the top six, right? So I suggest Chris Russell, maybe a backup goaltender, and then some depth, all right? That's, I think that would be... Uh, what we need now hang on this is going to show me how much cap space i have yes i do so cap hit is at 48 salary cap cap space i'm at 26 million so i have 26 million the cap hit all right does it show the minimum and maximum no it doesn't show the minimum all right so i think the minimum is around 18 million or something like that so definitely have some money to spend here so let's first go by unrestricted there we go then, let's quickly look at goaltenders. Any backup goalies that we could snag up here? Like Michael Layton, Stalock, Goofstason. Uh, see what I mean? I wouldn't mind. You know what? I'm going to get Alex Stalock. He's uh, actually potential as a starter, but 81 overall. Just in case, what's his name is not ready. A Makarov is ready to be backup uh, minutes. I want to have uh, two goalies that are ready to go, all right? So, one year at 1.7250, offer contract. Stalock. All right, very good. Defenseman, let's take a look at this. So Chris Russell, again, Goligoski is a right-handed offensive defenseman, is he? Left-handed offensive defenseman. All right, Goligoski may be something, but 30 years of age, 5.7, that's a lot. Captain Keith Yandel, 29 years of age, offensive defenseman, but again, he'd probably want to play with a, a good team. Chris Russell, he's the one I would like. I mean, he'd probably want to play for a good team as well. But uh, Chris Russell, look at that defensive awareness, the shot blocking, offensive awareness is up there, poise, passing is up there. Yeah, I want Chris Russell. I definitely want Chris Russell. So I'm going to offer him a contract. Three years. Three years. You know what? I'll give him a real deal. Let's go up to 34 years of age, and then I can trade him when he's 32, 33, or something like that. All right? Uh, 4.5. I don't want to mess around with this. So five years. Yeah, five years at 4.75 for Chris Russell. All right? There you go. That's a lot of money I've just shelled out. Come to Buffalo, son. Come to Buffalo. Now, I'm not going to go for Keith Yandel. Two teams interested in him already. Uh, Demers, left-handed, I believe. Right-handed. No, I don't need Demers. Jared Spurgeon. I think I'm going to pass on Jared Spurgeon, boys. I know he's not bad, but uh, right-handed. I'd rather get some depth and give uh, McCabe and uh, the other guy a chance to come up. Irwin, though. 
Irwin, bottom six, left-handed. There you go. Some defensive stats in there. That's not bad. All right, Irwin. All these guys down here are a little bit too low, and I don't need them. Irwin, he's a lefty. Pollock's a righty. Brian Campbell, how good is he? Is he dropping still? 37. I mean, we can get an offensive defenseman. He's lefty. Just in case. No teams want him. He's kind of cheap as well. You know what? I'm going to go after Matt Irwin right here, all right? I want to, uh, we already have enough offensive defensemen. Um... Well, I mean, we already have one, but uh, Bogosian can get it done as well. Ristolainen and I can put on the power play. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with Matt Irwin here. We'll go two years at 3.5. There you go. Offer contract. Good. There's all the defensemen I want to go after. Right wingers. Let's take a look at this. Now, we don't need any of the studs. We don't need Hodler. We don't need Verbata because they're going to just take ice time away from our youngins. Uh, but some depth like Victor Stahlberg wouldn't be a bad bet. Chris Stewart. Let's see Stahlberg. Nice super sweet power forward. Yeah, he could play in the bottom six. Let's see his stats. Defensive awareness. Yeah, see, that would be good depth. We do have to spend some money, but you know what? I'm okay with that because we have the space. Two years. Yeah, I'll give you two. I'll give you three years. I'm fine with that. Three years at three mil. There you go, because I can trade him. Three years at three mil for Victor Stahlberg. All right. Let me go left wingers. I just want some depth. Some good depth. Alex Kalorn. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll go after Alex Kalorn like you guys were suggesting. Three years at uh, 2.75. You know, three years, same thing as uh, Stahlberg. Three years at 3 million. All right. There you go, Kalorn. Very nice. Get on the team, son. Uh, centers. Now, we don't really need centers other than a third or fourth line center. Spalling. Oh, you know what? Trevor Lewis, I think, could be pretty good here. Three years again. He's got, he's got good defensive stats. Yeah, and he's 29 years of age. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for the top center here. He can play third. Is he too good to play? No, he's a top nine four. He's, he's, he's perfect for the third line. I don't want to give this guy too much money. You know what? Four years at three mil for this guy. All right. There you go. I don't want to go too crazy here. I don't want to spend too much money. We got some young players who are going to want contracts. But these guys are fine. Spalling, 27 years of age. Let's see. Decent defensive stats. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get Nick Spalling as well. Offer contract, fourth line center. All right, uh, go two years at 2.75. All right, so there you go. I think that is good for the depth that we want. I don't want to go too crazy. All skaters. Let me just search by uh, search by potential now as well. Anybody here? Kirkland, 19 years of age. Kirkland, top six. Yeah, shit. Why not get these guys? Offer contract. All right, there you go, buddy. Get on the team. Uh, you know what, how many, I don't know how many players are under contract on my team though. You know what, I'm going to wait for these guys because I don't know how many players I have under contract and this could, this could stop me from signing the other players that I wanted. So you know what, no, I'm going to wait on these. You know what, there's only one guy left anyways. I'll get this guy, Paul, uh, Pollock. There you go. There you go. Very nice. And is there any goaltender prospects? Let's take a look at this. Uh, 20, 20 years old fringe starter. Nah, I got enough fringe starters. Back up. This guy could be decent. I'll sign him. There you go. All right. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have signed this guy. Can I? Ah, oh, fuck. Because I only have... I won't get stay lock because I have too many goaltenders then under contract. I shouldn't have freaking tried to set trade for that guy or sign that guy. Propose a trade. Hang on. I have to get rid of one of the goaltenders now. Uh, oh, Jesus. This takes so long. <laughs> Goalies. There we go. What do we got signed under, uh, we got one, two, three, four. We got four of these guys signed. Johansson. Ah, oh, God damn it. I gotta get rid of these guys. Well, if we only have four, hang on. Four, one, two, three, four. No, we got five. We got five. Kakinen and Gonchar. I gotta keep. The back off, Mac off, AHL starter. This guy, Johansson. I can get rid of him. All right, so I'll just trade him away. I made a mistake, boys. So I'm just gonna give him away for like a, uh, like a seventh round pick or something. All right. There you go. Seventh round pick. Will it go through? Yeah, it will. Good. Proposed trade. There you go. Absolute no-brainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can be Sam Reinhardt's lost morale. All these bitches, man, on this team. So angry about everything. All right, so calendar. I can just advance the day from the main menu, right? Yeah, advance the day. All right, so let's advance the day. Let's see what happens. Advance the day again. Advance the day again. We got to wait for these guys. All right, Kirkland. He's on our team, so that was that youngin'. Uh, with the top six potential that we signed. All right, let's go. Matt Irwin, he's on the team. Good. 
Trevor Lewis. Ooh, Trevor Lewis is gone. I'm looking for a team that is more of a playoff contender, to be honest. All right, so we lost our third line center. That's why I went after Nick Spalling anyways. Victor Stahlberg is on our team. Good. Alex Stalock, so there's the backup goalie. Killorn made it onto the team. Good. Spalling's on the team. Uh, who's that? The backup goalie that I signed. Uh, all right, so Pollock, Pollock went with the new Joey Z Devils. Uh, who else was there needing to be signed? Yeah, it was the uh, defenseman. Fuck! Chris Russell. You've not offered me the dollars that I feel I'm deserved based on my skill. Oh, that's rough. So we didn't get that left-handed defenseman that we wanted, boys. I didn't give him enough money. Well, Captain Keith Yandel's still available. Here we go. Cap space, 15 mil. Alright, so I missed out on that left-handed defenseman. Gonna have to bring in another one. And Captain Keith Yandel seems to be at the top of the list here. Brian Campbell... Airhoff, Christian Airhoff's 34, nah. Yannick Weber, nah, not good enough. I'm gonna go for Keith Yandel, alright boys? Captain Keith. I'll give him a, I'll give him a good contract. 29 years of age, your five year deal at five and a half, alright? There you go. Five years at five and a half. You won't get anything better, Captain Keith Yandel. You know what? I gotta make sure I get this guy. I'm gonna give him some real money here. Five years at 5.75. Well, alright, Captain Keith Yandel, offer contract. Let's see. I didn't want to have to do that, boys. I wanted Chris Russell. We've already had Captain Keith, but no one's got him signed, and Chris Russell decided to go with another team. Advanced day. Come on, Captain Keith. Come to Buffalo. Jack Eichel on the power play. Fuck! My goal is to win. I don't think your team is going to be in a position to win anytime soon. I got to admit, uh, the free agency aspect of the next gen or current gen is nice. They give you reasons, and it shows you which team they go to. I like that. Oh, man. You lost out on some defenseman here. Christian Ehrhoff. You know what? Lefty, I got to get him. I got to get him. We got to get a defenseman in there. Yeah, Christian Ehrhoff. I'm going to try and offer him a contract. One year deal, Christian. One year at $5 million. We have the cap space. I don't want to give up on this year. We need to uh, We need to bring somebody in here. All right, one year at $5 million. Let's see if he... Uh, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Oh, he's getting back to me nice and quickly here. Let's see. Player meetings. I don't have enough time for your player meetings. Advanced day. Let's see. Uh, anything? No. He didn't get back to me tonight. What the hell? Ah, oh, Christian Aroff. Uh, perhaps more money. Oh, he didn't even sign with anybody. He's still he's still free agent. So he just turned me down straight up. I thought I offered him a lot of money there. That's kind of cool, man. There is a whole new aspect to this. All right, all right. You want some serious money, do you? All right there, Christian Aroff. One year at six million. That should do it. Jesus. All right, there you go. Get back to me later. Boys, this is negotiation period right here. The Buffalo Sabres doing their darndest to bring Christian Ehrhoff into their roster. Let's see. Advanced day. Uh, extremely happy. There we go. All right. I, I think I can add a lot to a team that's destined for a good run of the playoffs. I don't know if you came to the right team here, man. All right. So there we go, boys. I wish you could tell me how many players I have under contract. Remember how old Jenny would just show you? Contracts ending soon. Does it show me how many players I have? View contracts. Does it show me? List all contracts. Doesn't show me how many players I have signed. Huh. Okay. What about if I go to free agency? Does it show it from there? I went back to this. God damn it. Uh, free agency. What about in the bottom there? Does it show depth chart? Centers? 12. So I got to add it up myself. 12, 21... 33, 19 defensemen. Jesus, we got a lot of defensemen. We don't need all of them. And goaltenders, 8. Oh, we have 4 of 8. I don't know even how to read that. 12. No, 8, 8, 8. That would make sense. Whatever. You know what? EA, the old game told us how many players we had <laughs> under contract. That was a lot easier. So you know what? Calendar, let's just get to the regular season, shall we? This is not going to be that long. of a You know what? Maybe it is going to be long. Who knows? I don't know how long we've gone so far. But uh, we're just going to get to the preseason in this video. And before we start up any simulating, we need to figure out what a roster looks like. And, you know, you guys were saying that you can actually change players' positions in this game. So with a center core with Ryan O'Reilly, Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhart, and Zemgis Gergensens, we got to turn somebody into a winger. So I'll show you the roster what we look like and how we should arrange our lines i'll leave that for you guys in the comment section and on the website um like i said there's there'll be links in the description and in the chat for where you can leave any uh any comments or any uh, fan art that you may have with all these new buffalo sabers getting their chance to play their rookie season 
definitely get some good fan art out there, all right? So September 12th, here we go. Let me go up to the 15th. Somewhere up here, preseason starts. The games will pop up. There we go, preseason, all right? So let me just go up to the 19th. Simulate up to this day. So we got to figure out a few things, boys. Should we have injuries on for this year, or should we just turn them off completely? I wouldn't be uh, opposed to either one, all right? Uh, if we turn them off completely, that'd be nice. If we leave them on, maybe I'll just do some power of video editing during the season where if I have to do that stuff, I'll just take it out of the video. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at our roster, our team. I'll manage the budget. Uh, yeah, unsigned rookies. I wish it showed me. Contracts ending soon, just it just shows 31. I mean, no, it doesn't show you every contract. All right, so list all contracts. So let's just go through this. Does it show me? Oh, there we go. It shows me in here. Contracts 49 of 50. All right. So here, I have to go all the way to this screen to see it. Uh, all right, so Buffalo Sabres, all skaters, goaltenders. Let's take a look at this. So Robin Laner and Stay Luck. Robin Laner is now up to an 86 starter, boys. So that's not bad. Did he drop from elite? Was he elite and he dropped down to starter? Maybe that's because of his uh, his age and his overall. All right, so interesting. Do, do we get a jump in preseason like the old gen, or does it just stay the same? Here's all my uh, potential goaltenders. Makarov at 78 as a backup. Nah, I don't know if that's going to work. So who should be starting in the AHL this year? I need to know. We got a lot of goaltenders, man. Uh, defenseman. Let's see this. All right, so in the system, what do we got? Rude Wheel, these guys. Gooley is still 69, so he's got to play down there in the AHL. Martin, all these guys, all right. Uh, main roster, so here's our main roster defenseman. Zach Bogosian in 86, Cody Franzen, Christian Ehrhoff. I would have liked to have Chris Russell or uh, Keith Yandel in there, but uh, we did get uh, Irwin. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. So Ristolainen, Irwin, and McCabe. I don't know, should we be playing uh, Pissick in the NHL? I mean, I could take him out for Irwin. I just got him just in case. Um, and also, Erhoff, he's only got one year, right? So Pissick's going to have a chance to play next year. Or should we play Pissick in the AHL as a, as a 79 overall guy? I need to know. Uh, right wingers, let's take a look at this. Tyler Ennis in 85, Victor Stahlberg in 83. All right, so that's not too shabby. Stahlberg can add into some depth for us. All these guys seem to be in the AHL. Yeah, they shouldn't be brought up at all. Uh, left wingers, let's take a look at this. Evander Kane, 87. Alex Kalorn, 83. McGinn, 83. D'Amigo is now an 80. Felino is 79. So we have a lot of uh, left wingers we got to decide. Carrier is a 79. Adam Ernie, we got to figure out where to play him to take advantage of that elite potential. We really want to jack up his overall, right? So should he play in the NHL and just force him on the first line to grow? Or should he be in the AHL? There's a lot of questions to be answered here, boys. Jack Eichel's an 87. Sam Reinhart's an 87. All right, so these guys are definitely playing in the NHL this year. Uh, all right, they're in the system, so I got to bring them up. Main roster, Ryan O'Reilly's a 90. Larson's up in an 85. Gergensen's is an 84. Spalling is our fourth line center. So you can see Larson, Gergensen's, O'Reilly. We got plenty of guys here, right? So I want to see line lineup, boys. What you guys think, how we should arrange our lines and uh, who should be playing down there in the AHL. Youngins, who can play down there as a uh, top-notch player to help out the youngins. We have to edit some players with their positions. All that stuff, all right? Hang on, let me find this. Manage roster, edit lines. All right, so let's take a look at this. So the Buffalo Sabres. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to... Uh, all right, hang on, hang on. I'll do this. Roster moves. Let me bring up all the uh, the main guns. NHL, no, hang on. Jesus, in the system, this stuff is so complicated. Uh, hang on, let me sort by overall. Let me click it twice. Oh, it actually sorted by the top. There we go. Jack Eichel, yeah, get your ass up here. Oh my God, I can't. Ugh, why wouldn't they bring him up first? Jesus, in the system. All right, NHL. Let me send these guys back down then, shall we? All skaters. <laughs> Sorry, boys. It's, uh, it's uh, current gen. It is what it is. One. Okay, so I don't need Sanguinetti. You're going to go back down to the AHL. All right, Pissick McCabe. So I'm going to leave Pissick up here because I want you guys to chime in on what we should do with him. Forwards. Let's see who's up here who shouldn't be. Let's see. Sort. Sort. All right, so Nevins. Definitely don't need him. Send him that back down. McCormick. Don't need you. All right. Felino. D'Amigo. Okay, good. Now let's go to in the system. Let's go to all skaters. 
Oh, it takes so long to sort this crap out, man. Ah, Sean Day is a 64. All right, so Sam Reinhart, get your ass up to the NHL squad. Jack Eichel, get your ass up here. We got uh, Carrier. I'll bring him up as well at a 79. Here's all the other guys. We got to figure out about Adam Ernie as well, boys. So if you guys want, just let me know. Best lines. I want to see what's going on here. So best lines in the AH or the NHL. Evander Kane, Ryan O'Reilly, Tyler Ennis, Sam Reinhart, Jack Eichel, Alex Kalorn, uh, Larson, Stahlberg, and McGinn, Felino, Gergensons, and D'Amico. So that's what they're saying. For our lineups here, let me just go to scratched players. Who's scratched? McCabe, Spalling, and Carrier are scratched, all right? So if we're going to turn off injuries, we can definitely make a move here. We have too many players. So how should we arrange those lineups? And defensively, Cody Franzen, Zach Bogosian, Pissick, Ristolainen, Matt Irwin, and Christian Ehrhoff. How should we arrange our line? So I'll leave that to you guys. What should we do? AHL looks like this. I don't think we have too many good young players now. Adam Ernie, we got to figure out. Uh, Baptiste, we can play up there. But should we have those guys in the NHL, especially Adam Ernie? And here's the defensive core, all right? So, boys, let me know. Starting goalies. Let me just go to goalies here for a sec. Uh, Makarov and Kakinen are the uh, are the goaltenders, and then scratch goalies Herbst and Gonchar. All right, so anything and everything, boys. Let me know how you think we should arrange our lines for the Buffalo Sabers in year number two. And the next video, we'll get a big chunk of the season simulation done. So lineups, rosters, AHL, NHL, injuries should they be on? All right, and anything else. Let me know, and I will see you in the next one.